டே வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஃபேட் கோடு டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் அண்ட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் பர்சன் மெனி யூ மைட் ஹவ் நாட் ஃபோம் த ஸ்டோரி ஆஃப் திஸ் பர்சன் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டாக் அபவுட் ஃபீல்டு மாஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆம் மேனேஜர் ஸோ லெட்ஸ் கோ டு த வீடியோ அண்ட் ஃபைட் டு வின் தெர் இஸ் நோ ரூம் ஃபார் த நியூஸ் இஃப் யூ லூஸ் Don't come back. You will have disgraced the country. Your dreams. I wish you great success. Thank you. Field Marshal Sam Maniksha was born in 3rd April 1914. He was the Chief of Army Staff of Indian Army during the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971 and the first Indian Army officer to be promoted to the rank of Field Marshal. His military career spanned four decades and five wars beginning with the service in the British Indian Army in World War II. Maniksha joined the first intake of the Indian Military Academy Dehradun in 1932. He was commissioned into the 4th Battalion 12th Frontier Force Regiment. In World War II he was awarded the Military Cross for gallantry. Following the partition of India in 1947 he was reassigned to the 8th Gurkha Rifle. Maniksha was important in planning role and during the 1947 Indo-Pakistan War. He was promoted to the rank of brigadier while serving at the military operation directorate. He became commander of 167 infantry brigade in 1952 and served in the position until 1952 when he took over as the director of military training at army headquarters. After completing the higher command course at the Imperial Defence College, he was appointed as the general officer commanding. He also served in Western Command and in 1964 he was transferred to the Eastern Command. Having already commanded the troops in various levels, Maniksha became the 7th Chief of the Army Staff in 1969. Under his command, Indian forces conducted victorious campaigns against Pakistan in the Indo-Pakistan War of 1971, which led to the creation of Bangladesh in December 1971. He was awarded the Padma Vibhushan and Padma Bhushan, the second and the third highest civilian award of India. In January 1973, Maniksha was conferred with the rank of Field Marshal, the first Indian Army officer of the independent India to get this rank. So let's move on to the Sam Maniksha's early life and his education. Sam Maniksha was born on 3rd April 1914 in Amritsar in Punjab. Sam Maniksha's father was a doctor. who moved to Amritsar from the city of Valsad in coastal region of Gujarat. The couple had six children and in the First World War, Sam Manisha's father served in the British Indian Army as the captain in the Indian Medical Service. Sir Sam Manisha's two elder brothers, Fali and Jan, qualified as engineers while Sila and Cheru became teachers. Both Sam and his younger brother Jamie served in the Indian Armed Forces while Jamie became a doctor like his father and served the Royal Indian Air Force as a medical officer and the first Indian to be awarded the Air Surgeon Wings from the Naval Air Station which is in United States. Jamie joined his elder brother in becoming a flag officer, retiring as an air vice marshal in the Indian Air Force. As a boy, Maniksha was mischievous and high-spirited. His, uh, his early ambition was to study medicine and become a doctor like his father. Maniksha then asked his father to send him to London to study medicine. But his father refused. Instead, Maniksha entered the Hindu Sabha College, now Hindu College, which is located in Amritsar. And in April 1932, he sat his final exam held by the University of Punjab, passing with 3rd Division in Science. In the meantime, the Indian Military College Committee, which was set up in 1932 and chaired by Field Marshal Ma- Sir Philip Chetwood, recommended the establishment of Military Academy in India to train Indians for officer commission in the Army. A three-year course was proposed with an entry age of 18 to 20. Candidates would be selected on the basis of examination conducted by the Public Service Commission. A formal notification for entrance examination to enroll in the Indian Military Academy was issued in the early months of 1932. An examination was scheduled for June or July. 
in an act of re- rebellion against his father's refusal sir sam maniksha applied for a place and sat at the entrance exam held in delhi on 1st october 1932 he was one of the 15 candidates to be selected through open competition Manisha was placed 16th in the order of merit. Manisha was selected as a part of first batch of cadets. Sam Manisha proved to be witty during his stay at Indian Military Academy and went on to achieve a number of medals. He was the first graduate to join one of the Gurkha regiment. He was the first to serve as the Chief of Army Staff of India and the first to attain the rank of Field Marshal of Andy was commissioned as the second lieutenant on 1st February 1935. At the time of commissioning, it was the standard practice for newly commissioned Indian officers to be initially attached to a British regiment before being sent to an army unit. Thus, Maniksha joined the 2nd Battalion Royal Scouts stationed at Lehur. He, he was later posted to the 4th battalion because of the shortage of qualified officers on the outbreak of the war in the first two years of the conflict sam manixa was appointed to the acting or temporary ranks of captain and major before promotion to the captain on 4th february 1942 He saw action in Burma in the 1942 campaign where he led his company in the counterattack against the invading Imperial Japanese army despite suffering 50% casualty the company managed to achieve its objective after capturing the hill Sam Maniksha was hit by a burst of light machine gun fire was severely wounded and in stomach observing the battle major general David Kauman The commander of 17 infantry division spotted Sam Maniksha clinging to life and having witnessing his valor in the face of stiff resistance rushed over to him fearing that Sam Maniksha would die the general pinned his own military cross ribbon and to on him and said that a dead person cannot be awarded a military cross after which he joined the 9th battalion Then Sam Maniksha received a local rank of lieutenant colonel on the Japanese surrender Maniksha was appointed to supervise the 60000 Japanese prisoners of war POW he handled the situation so very well such that no case of indiscipline or escape attempt from the camp were reported while handling the issue related to partici- partition in 1947 maniksha demonstrated his planning and administrative skill in this capacity at the end of 1947 maniksha was posted as the commanding officer of the 3rd battalion in 5th gurkha rifle Before he moved on to his new appointment on 22nd October Pakistani forces infiltrated Kashmir capturing the do- capturing the Domal point the following day the ruler of the princely state of Jammu and Kashmir Maharaj Hari Singh appealed for help from India on 25th October Maniksha accompanied VP Menon the secretary of the state department to Srinagar While Menon was with the Maharaja Maniksha carried out an aerial survey of the situation in Kashmir according to Sam Maniksha the Maharaja signed the instrument of accession on the same day and they flew back to Delhi Lord Mountbatten and the Prime Minister Nehru were briefed during which Maniksha suggested immediate deployment of troops to prevent Kashmir from being captured Nehru was not in favor of the development of troops and the deployment of troops initially but he was pressurized by sardar vallabhbhai patel the deputy prime minister of india on the morning of 27th october indian troops were sent to kashmir and srinagar was occupied just before pakistani forces reached the city maniksha was posted to command 35th gurkha rifle was cancelled and he was posted to the directorate center in kashmir to solve the disputes between them then in 1957 he was sent to the imperial defense college in london to attend an higher command course for one year on his return he was appointed as a general officer commanding for 26th infantry division on 20 december 1957 then on 2nd december 1962 sam maniksha was promoted to the acting lieutenant general rank soon after taking charge sam maniksha reached to the conclusion poor leadership had been a significant factor due to which the failure of india with china took place 
he felt that his foremost responsibility was to improve the morale of his demoralized soldier which he achieved by ordering them to operate more aggressively just 5 days into his command nehru visited the headquarters with his daughter indira gandhi and the coas and found that the troops advancing nehru stated that he he did not want any more men to die and assured that assured him that they would follow the order what is given by him the next next task manisha took up was to reorganize the troops in the north east frontier agency nefa so he took measures to overcome shortage of equipment and accommodation and clothing he was promoted to the rank of lieutenant general on 20 july 1963 then he responded to an insurgency in nagaland due to which he got padma bhushan in 1968 He played a very important and pivotal role in surrendering of Pakistan to Indian army. The Indo-Pakistan War of 1971 was sparked by the Bangladesh Liberation War, a conflict between the traditionally dominated West Pakistans and the majorities of East Pakistans. In 1970, East Pakistans demanded autonomy for the state, but the Pakistan government failed to satisfy these demands, and an event for freedom took place in the East Pakistan. In March the Pakistan armed forces launched a fierce campaign to drub the protesters who protested for independence thousands of east pakistani died and nearly 10 million refugees fled to west bengal in april india decided to assist in the formation of new nation known as the bangladesh during a cabinet meeting towards the end of april prime minister indira gandhi asked manisha if he was prepared to go to war with pakistan after the cabinet had left the room manisha offered to resign but indira gandhi declined and inclined and asked advice to him he said he could guarantee victory if she would allow him to handle the conflict in his own term Following the strategy planned by Manisha the army launched several preparatory operations in East Pakistan including training and equipping the Mukti Bahini a local military group of Bengali nationalists about 3 brigades of regular Bangladeshi troops were trained and 75000 people were taught the guerrilla warfare technique and these forces were used to attack the Pakistani army Then the war officially started on 3rd December 1971 and India captured most of the advantageous points and isolated the Pakistani forces which started to surrender or withdraw the United Nations Secretary Council assembled on 4th December 1971 to discuss the situation after lengthy discussion the United States put forward a resolution for immediate ceasefire and withdrawal of troops the United States put forward a resolution that Bangladesh would be formed and the and the east pakistan would be freed from pakistan then sam manisha addressed the pakistani troops by radio broadcast assuring them they would receive honorable treatments from indian troops if they surrendered then on 11th december general rao fara ali message the united nations requesting a ceasefire but it was not authorized and the fighting continued following several discussions and and attacks by indian forces then on 16 december 1971 the pakistani troops surrendered to the indian troops when prime minister asked manisha to go to dhaka and accept the surrender of pakistani forces he declined saying honor should go to the lieutenant general of eastern command jagjit singh arora Prime Minister of India Indira Gandhi congratulated the chiefs of three services General Sam Manisha Admiral SM Nanda and Air Chief Marshal PC Lal The war lasted less than fourth night and saw more than 90000 Pakistani soldier taken prisoners it ended with the unconditional surrender of Pakistan eastern half and resulted to the birth of a new nation known as Bangladesh He assured that the prisoners of war were well treated by Indian army and for his service to the Indian nation the president of India awarded Sam Manisha a Padma Vibhushan in 1972 Sam Manisha retired from active service on 5th January 1973 after a career of nearly 4 decades He settled with his wife Silo in Kunnur the civilian town next to Wellington then on 27 June 2008 Field Marshal Sam Manisha left the world at the age of 94 reportedly his last were words were regarding the development of nation he was buried in the parsi cemetery in otekamand uti in tamil nadu with military honors 
annually on 16 december vijay divas is celebrated in memory of victories achieved under sam manning's leadership to honor him on 16 december 2008 a postage stamp depicting sam manning in his field marshal uniform was released by the president pratibha patel a flyover bridge in ahmedabad was named after him on 2008 by narendra modi then the chief minister of gujarat in 2014 a granite statue was erected in his honor at wellington in nilgiris district close to the sam manikshaw bridge on uti kunnur road which had been named after him in 2009 on his life a film has been directed known as sam by vicky kaushal which is expected to release on 2021 for watching the video from this video you might have come to know the struggle and the life story of field master sam maniksha thank you sir because of you we are living free and independent in india and we are proud of you always sir thank you in next video i will come with an interesting topic until that stay happy stay safe and fight to win there is no room for the loser if you lose Don't come back. You will have disgraced the country.